Hello everyone, welcome to my Shop My Stash for December. I'm gonna go over the products that I had for the month of November really quickly. And I did do a declutter so things might look a little different. So let's go ahead and start off with foundation. I didn't get a chance to use a lot of my foundations because I purchased a couple of new ones that I've been testing. So Anastasia, I might've used maybe twice as well as the NARS, I probably used twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these in. The concealer, I feel like I use this a good amount of times, but I kind of want to keep this in because I have been enjoying this. This is the Urban Decay Stay Correcting Concealer. I uh, think I'm going to go ahead and put this Anastasia concealer back and get a new one. This concealer was okay. I feel like I need to use it a little bit more to really gather my thoughts, but I thought it was okay. I do think this... Urban Decay one is nicer and creamier under the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. I always keep this tart one in. And I also keep, always keep this Chanel bronzer in that I've been using like every week. And so that stays in the drawer. Um, I don't think I use this Kosas powder that often, so I'm gonna keep this in. Milk setting powder. Every time I use foundations, I use this. Um, I didn't use the setting powder often, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Lipsticks, the Sigma Liquid Lipstick, use this often, as well as the Sephora Liquid Lip. I use this pretty often. I'm going to put these back, and the rest of the lippies I'm going to keep in because I didn't really get a chance to use them. So it was Whirl by MAC, and the Too Faced Liquid Lip and Pumpkin Spice. I'm going to keep that in. I always keep these KVD Liquid Lipsticks in. Shots of Kai Bronzer and Goa. Love this, really nice, soft and luminous, really buildable and blendable. I use this uh, this Pat McGrath face palette I really enjoy. I like to use face palettes when I'm in a hurry for work, when I'm getting ready. This is an old NARS palette. I just really go all in with different shades and do a lot of mixing with these blush shades and highlighters. So I really like that. Enjoyed the Charlotte Tilbury. You could probably tell, really nice and luminous highlighter palette. I'm going to keep my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in because that's what I've been doing. This highlighter, I kind of want to keep in. This opal highlighter, I use this maybe three times by Becca, so I'm going to keep this in. I'm going to put back this Beck, going to put back this Clinique blush in Fig Pop. It's really pretty and luminous. I'm going to put back this MAC highlighter in Old Darling, nice and luminous. And pretty beaming. Uh, this bronzer and saddle. Use this really nice and blendable. A little bit on the deeper side. And this blush trio. I really like this. I would just mix all of them together. Really nice and blendable. Nice pretty pink shades. This was in pool party, I believe. Yes, pool party. I'm gonna put back slow fast slow. I use this a lot. And I'm going to put back Breath of Plum by MAC. I use this a lot as well. I really like MAC's blushes. And it's just really easy to apply them. They look really nice on the cheek. Um, and as for eyeshadow palettes, I use this one. The Subculture one. A good amount of times. That MAC shade with this shade together and it was really pretty. I would really gently use this. So I enjoy using that. Pumpkin Spice. I end up just making one look with the matte and the rest of the looks I made, I just used one shade and just blended that shade out. And anytime I did a single eyeshadow look, it would be like the metallics, the shimmers. Like this purple here was really pretty. So that's that. And I did not use this Tom Ford palette, so... I think I'm going to do a Shop My Stash video just doing Tom Ford palette. So look out for that pretty soon. So yeah, I didn't get a chance to use this. I don't know why. I just didn't think to use it. Everything else I keep in the drawer like eyeliners, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencils, um, my liquid liner from Stila. So I don't really change that. All right, the lighting is kind of weird, but that's going to change in a minute. I need to just pull a powder and a single eyeshadow. Let's pull out this. Hmm. Oh, 
Let's pull out this one from MAC, Don't Burst My Bubbly. And for powders, for setting powder, I'm gonna pull out the hourglass one. And here's that MAC shade. Okay, so I do wanna pull out two bronzers and that will be, I think I like matte bronzers. Chocolate Too Faced Soleil. Pull this one. Chocolate matte. Um, do I want to put out a luminous one? Let's pull out. LYS one. And what shade is this? Harmony. And is there anything? Should I pull out a luminous one? Ooh, let's do this caramel cocoa one. I haven't used this one yet. Here that is. It's luminous. Blush. I'm gonna pull this one out. I got from TJ Maxx. New Venus Tube by Pat McGrath. Here it is. And that's the inside. I kept the opal highlighter in. So let's get a face palette. I'm gonna do this Pat McGrath one. inside it's kind of a mess up here but I'm gonna pull out some more highlighters so I'm gonna pull out lunar nude and Venetian nude so this is lunar nude this is Venetian nude this one I got at TJ Maxx. Oh, not there. Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and use Too Faced Gingerbread. Forbidden Fruit Cake by Too Faced. Really cute. Grab Pat McGrath Labs. This is from last holiday, I think. Really want to use that green. Got this at TJ Maxx as well. I'm going to use this. And last, the Odin's Eye Merry Christmas palette. I'm going to use this. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm pretty excited. All right, so I pulled out a couple of lippies. I have this older lippy by Chanel. I believe it's number 836. It's a liquid lipstick and a lipstick by MAC in the shade Ruby Woo. All right, guys, that completes the Shop My Stash video. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.